Alright, how's it going everybody? We are here for a multi-block build video for the large bathing vat and the coagulator array. Now both of these use the same building block, stainless steel walls. For each one you will need 49 of them which if we hit R here, you'll see that the recipe is for stainless steel plates, wrench and hammer, and they can now be done in the welding machine as well at LV with a tag of four. And you just build a structure that is five by five by two out of these walls making sure to leave that block there open that is where the controller will go so that is your structure right there now you will notice I will put this up here on the wall uh, that is your output right there. That is the automatic output for fluids and or liquid or fluids or items. So now we're going to start with the bathing vat. And you can always tell if it is built by giving it a whack with your magnifying glass. And it will say structure is formed already. So there is the bathing vat. Now what we're going to do, we're going to run this water line over here and connect it up here. You'll see the water is filling and we are going to run in the building real quick. Got to grab something. We got a stack of wood pulp. And we're going to throw that in there and we're going to make us a stack of paper real fast. So you'll know that if we hit you on the wood pulp, bathing recipe is one to one with 0.1 unit of water. Now we are going to take this empty crate, place it there, and if you want to automatic in, you do that through the top, and you'll see that instantly we have our stack of paper. So anywhere on the top block, you can do your input and automatic output through the bottom. Now, if we wrench this out of here, we'll go ahead and cut the water, not that it will matter. We will now put in the uh, coagulator. For this, we're going to put a mass storage underneath it. We're going to go ahead and put a rubber ingot in there. We're going to be putting latex in here, which will make us rubber. Which if you look at the recipe here, it is 0.111 units of latex gives you a rubber chip. Now, just like with the um, bathing vat, it will do 64 at a time. So we are going to throw that up there. It's got 32 approximately 
32 buckets worth, 32,000 liters of latex, and it is going to do a stack of chips every time. So a much faster way of getting rubber done than just a single coagulator. And again, automatic output, automatic input through the top. Same exact structure. Now, if you would have something, I don't believe with this that you would. Um, you can use a extender, um, a fluid and item extender. Uh, can't spell extender today, apparently. There we go. So there's an inventory and tank extender. You can use one of those to extend your output and have fluid and item as both. But for the bath and for the uh, vat, you probably will not need it. So, I hope that helps. If you all have any questions, let me know. I'll be glad to answer any that I can. And I will be back with another one of these shortly. We have a lot of multi-blocks here that we need to get done. Centrifuge, electrolyzer, sluice, shredder, crusher, and the lightning rod. So, looking forward to that. Have a good one, everybody.